How's it going guys? Chips here with you again, back with another Ark Let's Build video. In today's video, we're going to be building this medieval church that you see in front of you now. For those of you that are new to the channel, this is going to be a step-by-step walkthrough video with voiced-over instructions so you can get this build on your Ark. And as you can see on the screen, here is a full list of build materials you will need for this build. You can also find this list in the description below if you would like to quickly copy and paste it over to your own device. But anyways, guys, with all of that said, I just want to tell you thank you so much for being here today, checking out this video, and let's go ahead and let's get to building. All right, so for our first step, we're going to go ahead and lay down the foundation for our build. So as you can see, I already have one place. So the first thing we're going to do is come right to the right side of that, and we're going to go ahead and add three more. Then just in front of that, we're going to go ahead and add two rows of six with one sticking off on each side. Then in front of those, we're going to go ahead and add two rows of 10 with two sticking off on each side. Now in front of this, we're gonna go ahead and add four rows of six lined back up right here. Now in front of that, we're gonna add two more rows of four coming one space in on each side. And now finally, in front of that, we're going to add three rows of two, again, coming one space in on each side. So now this will make up the foundation for our build. So you can go ahead then and switch all of these stone foundations to block. All right, now we're going to go ahead and add some thatch ceilings here around the base of our build. Now we're not actually going to be using these until much later in the build. But we need to go ahead and place them now to avoid anything clipping if you're on official settings. So the first one we're going to do is head in here where we have this spot of two foundations. And we're going to place a thatch ceiling out in front of each of these just like this. Go ahead over here where we have these four and add one in front of these four foundations. And then just go ahead to the other side and copy that over there. All right, next we're gonna add some stone stairs. So starting off here at the front of our build, we're gonna place one in front of each of these two foundations. Then we'll head over to one of our sides where we have these stone foundations sticking out and add one more in front of each of these. And we'll just go ahead and do the same thing over here on this side. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and start building up our front entryway to the build. So first we're gonna come in here to this front corner and we're gonna place a wooden fence foundation on the side of this foundation. We'll add one on the next foundation. We'll skip this one and add one more right here. Go ahead and repeat this on the other side. Now we're gonna come back to this front corner and we're going to first place a stone pillar followed by a wooden pillar and do it on the other side as well. Now in the very next spot, we're gonna go ahead and place four high stone pillars. And again, we will do this on the other side. In the very next spot, we're gonna go ahead and this is gonna be a little tricky. You're gonna to need to use a flyer or some kind of ladder or something to do this, but we're going to place 12 high stone pillars. Followed by two wooden pillars. And go ahead and again repeat this over here. Now in the very next spot, we're gonna go ahead and first place four high stone pillars. Followed by five high wooden pillars. And again, repeat that over here.
And now on the other side of that fence foundation, on the last spot, we're gonna go ahead and again, place the 12 high stone and two wood. And again, we will just repeat that over here. Now we're gonna come in here at the front between our third set of pillars, and we're going to place another wooden fence foundation on this foundation. Then we'll go ahead and get out a stone dinosaur gateway and snap that to it and fill that in with a reinforced dinosaur gate. Next, we're gonna come in here to this foundation and we're going to place four high stone walls. We'll do this in the very next spot. And we'll head around to this side and do it over here on these two spots. Now we're gonna go ahead here up above the walls and we're gonna fill this spot in with four stone ceilings. And now we're gonna go ahead around and we are going to add eight more stone walls all the way around every side of these ceilings. And then once you have those placed, you go ahead and fill in up here with four more stone ceilings. All right, now real quick before we get started on this step, I will say if you plan on putting any kind of a fire or maybe like a taxidermy up here in the top of our tower, I would go ahead and do that now before we continue with this step because we're about to box this area in and you won't be able to access it. So now we're gonna go ahead and get out a wooden catwalk and we're gonna place it right here between those two stone walls. Go ahead and do that on the other three sides. Go ahead and get out a wooden double door frame and place it too high on the ceiling and do that on every ceiling going around. Now we're gonna go ahead and get out thatch ceilings and we're going to hang one out from each of these ceilings. And now we're gonna go ahead and get out a wooden railing. And what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that you get this light blue snap point that's placing on the thatch ceiling. Go ahead and add three more on top of that, being very careful to make sure you're getting that light blue snap point. And go ahead and do this all the way around. And then once you have all of those placed, you can go ahead and pick up or destroy those thatched ceilings. Next, we'll go ahead here to the top and create our roof. So the first thing we're gonna do is get out the appropriate sloped wooden wall and place one right here with the other one right here. Go ahead and do that on the other three sides. Now we will come in here to one of our corners and what you're gonna have here is you have the left side of the corner and the right side of the corner. So if you're on official settings, you need to follow along closely. So get out a sloped wooden roof and you are first gonna place the left side corner like this and then you can cross the right side. If you try doing it the other way, it will not work on official. So go ahead around to the other three sides and do the left first and then the right. Now, just above where we have the stone gate frame here at the front, we're gonna go ahead and place a stone ceiling coming out from each of these walls. Now you can go ahead around and drop one stone wall down from each of these ceilings. And you can also come to the top here and place one right here in the middle. Now get out your appropriate sloped stone wall and place one right here and the other one right here. 
and then go ahead and get out a stone stair and we're just gonna drop that down from the stone wall in the middle on each side. Now here on the side, we're gonna come between these two pillars right here and we're going to place a wooden railing and then we're gonna stack five more on top of that. Just be careful and make sure you are stacking them on top of each other and there is no gap between them. Go ahead and do that on the other side. Now we'll go ahead and get out a stone railing and place one right here on this foundation as well as on the side of our stair. And go ahead and do the same thing over here. All right, so now we're gonna start doing our two side entrances. So how I'm gonna do this is I will show you step-by-step step how to do one side, and then I'll do the other side off camera. So basically those building materials you saw at the start of this step is enough for you to do both sides, and you will just follow along with me and do one side and then duplicate the other side over on the other side of the build. So hopefully that made sense. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is come in here to the side of this foundation and place a wooden fence foundation. We're then gonna skip this one and place another one right here. Go ahead and do that on the other side as well. And then we're also gonna add one more right here between the second set of foundations right here. Now we'll go back to one of our front corners and we will place a stone pillar followed by a wooden pillar. Do the same thing over on this front corner. In the very next spot, we are going to place eight high stone pillars. And we're gonna do that again over here. In the very next spot, we're going to start with four high stone pillars, followed by a wooden pillar, and do the same thing over here. And then right here in this last spot, we are again gonna place eight high stone pillars. And of course, we'll do that again right here. Now we will come back to the front right here where we have our stairs and we'll go into that second set of foundations. And right here, we're gonna place two high stone pillars. So now, like I said, go ahead and duplicate this over there on the other side. Now we're gonna come in here where we have these three pillars and between these two, we're gonna get out a stone double door frame. Now you won't be able to see it, but you will see the dust settle once you place it. Go ahead and add another one right here and fill both of those in with reinforced double doors. Go ahead and add a stone wall above them. Now right above this pillar, we're gonna go ahead and place a wooden catwalk. We'll add one more stone wall on each. Then we're gonna get out greenhouse walls and place three high on top of each of those stone. And then we'll go ahead and get out stone walls again and place two more on top of each. Now we're gonna head over here to one of our sides and place a stone wall on this foundation, as well as on this foundation, and then add seven more to get them to eight high total. Now we will head over here to the other side and just do the same thing. And now you can once again, go ahead to the other side over there and duplicate this step. Now at the very top, we'll go ahead and first place the appropriate sloped stone wall right here and the other one right here. Then we will go ahead and place two sloped wooden roofs coming off from each of those going inward. And do that again right here. And again, go ahead and repeat this step on the other side. Now we're gonna come in just below where we have the greenhouse walls and place a thatch ceiling in each of these spots. Then we will get out a stone door frame and we are going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system until you get this light blue snap point. Go ahead and do that again right here. And then go ahead and add two more on top of these again, making sure you have that light blue snap point so you don't destroy your greenhouse. 
And then once you have those placed, you can go ahead and pick up or destroy that thatch and go ahead and again, repeat this on the other side. Now we're gonna come in here to the side of this foundation and place a stone railing, add one on the stair, do the same thing over here on this side. And then again, go ahead and repeat this step on the other side of the build. All right, now we're gonna start building up the large center section, starting with the side walls. So now again, the two sides are gonna be the exact same. So you're just gonna follow along with me here and then copy it over on the other side. So the first thing we're gonna do is head in here to this front foundation and place a wooden fence foundation on it. Go ahead and add another one right here. Now on this front corner, we're going to place four high stone pillars, followed by four wooden pillars. And then on this other one right here, we're gonna go ahead and place four high stone pillars, followed by two wooden pillars. And then we will also go ahead and get out a stone dinosaur gateway and just snap that just like this. Now we're gonna head to the back corner of the build. And right here on this foundation, we're going to go ahead and place a wooden fence foundation. On the outside snap point, we will add our four stone pillars, followed by our four wooden pillars. And then on the other snap point right here, we're gonna go ahead and place our four stone pillars, followed by two wooden pillars. And then again, just go ahead and copy this step on the other side of the build. Now we're gonna come in here to this front corner and on this side of the foundation, we're gonna add four high stone walls. We'll do that again on this side on both of these foundations. Now in the very next spot, we're gonna get out a stone double door frame and we are going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that you get this more bright green snap point. And a good way to test and make sure you got it right is go ahead and get out a stone wall and if you have the light blue side facing you, you're good to go. Go ahead and add five more stone double door frames to get us to six high total. Go ahead and do this in the next three spots as well. Now we're gonna head to the back side of the build. And first right here in this spot, we will again place four high stone walls. And then in these next two spots, we will again get out a stone double door frame and rotate the snap point. So we're getting that bright green one. Go ahead and just check it. You're good to go and then add five more on top. And do this one more time. And then like we did with the last step, go ahead and repeat this on the other side of the build. Now for the next step, we're gonna go in here above where we have this stone wall and we're gonna add a thatch ceiling hanging off. We'll do that again right here in these two spots. Now we'll come back over here and get out an adobe wall and we are going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that it places like this. Go ahead and add three more on top. Do the same thing in both of these spots. Now here in this spot right here, we do not need to place a thatch ceiling since we already rotated those door frames. So just go ahead and get out an adobe window frame, place that down and fill it in with a greenhouse window and then add a wall on top. We'll place two more walls right here, another window frame and greenhouse window with another wall on top, and then two more walls right here. We'll go ahead to the back corner of the build and place another thatch ceiling right here. And again, get out your adobe wall and rotate the snap point and place that four high. Right here, we will again go ahead and place our adobe window frame with a greenhouse window and a wall on top and then just two more walls right here. So now you can go ahead and pick up or destroy all of that thatch and repeat this step on the other side of the build. Now here on the front of the build, we're gonna to come to the top of where we have this adobe wall and we're going to place a thatch ceiling on the inside of the wall like that. Go ahead and then get out the appropriate sloped adobe wall 
so that the green side is facing you and it's pointed inward and place that down. Go ahead to the other side over here and again place that thatch ceiling and then place the other sloped adobe wall. Once you have those placed, you can go ahead and pick up or destroy those thatch ceilings. All right, now to start on the back side, the first thing we're gonna do is go down to each one of these foundations and place four high stone walls. Then we will come to this one right here and between these two stone walls, we're gonna go ahead and place a wooden catwalk. Do that again right here and one more time right here. Then on the two middle stone walls, we're gonna go ahead and add four high greenhouse walls on top of them. Now we're gonna come back in here and just above the stone walls, we're gonna go ahead and hang a thatch ceiling out from each of them. Now on this first spot, we're gonna go ahead and get out an adobe wall. And we're gonna be looking for this light blue snap point. So you may need to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system. Go ahead and place that. Then you can go ahead and add two adobe door frames on top of it, followed by one more wall. In the next two spots, we're gonna go ahead and first get out an adobe door frame and rotate the snap point. We're gonna do this three more times, being very careful that we do not destroy that greenhouse and then add a wall on top of it. Do that again in this spot right here. And then in this last spot, we are gonna start off again with an adobe wall rotated, place two more adobe door frames, and then one more adobe wall. You can then go ahead and pick up or destroy all of those thatch ceilings. Next, we will come back in where we have those door frames and we're going to place a thatch ceiling to the inside just above the wall like this. Go ahead and then get out a greenhouse wall and just place it with the green side like this. Add one more on top. Go ahead over here to this side and do the same thing right here. Now we're gonna head up here to the top and place another thatch ceiling right here. And this time we're going to place the appropriate sloped adobe wall so the green side is facing us and it's pointed inward. Go ahead and add another thatch ceiling here at both of these top points. Place your appropriate sloped adobe right here and the other one right here. And then finally add one more thatch ceiling right here and place that sloped adobe attached to it. You can then go ahead and pick up or destroy all of these thatch ceilings that we just placed. Now to add our roof to this large portion, we're gonna go ahead and get out sloped wooden roofs. We're gonna start off right here, taking these across. Once we get to this one right here, we will stop and churn and place this one like this. You can then cross them like this. Come over here and place this one first right here. And you can then cross them like this. Go ahead and continue taking this line across. We're then gonna head back to our backside of our build and start again right here and take this line all the way across. We'll go ahead to the back side of the build again, start off right here and place this line all the way across. Go to the back side of the build again, start off by placing the three right here. We're then gonna go ahead and place this one first this time. You can then cross it. Go ahead and place this one first now like this and cross it again and then go ahead and fill in the rest of these. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and start building up those side rooms. Now again, each side of the build is gonna be exactly the same. So again, go ahead and follow along with me as we do one side and then just copy what we did on the other side of the build. So the first thing we're gonna do is come in here to this foundation right here and place a wooden fence foundation on it, right on the side. We'll go ahead and also place one right here on this one. Then we're gonna come back to this front corner and go ahead and place four high stone pillars, followed by one wooden pillar. You can then go ahead and attach a stone dinosaur gateway just like this, 
and add one more right here like this. Now we're going to go to the back corner of the build back here. We're going to place another wooden fence foundation right here on this stone foundation. We'll place another four stone pillars on this corner, followed by our one wooden pillar. And then we will again go ahead and snap a stone dinosaur gateway right here. So again, go ahead and copy this on the other side of the build. All right, now we're gonna go ahead in here to this corner and on this foundation right here, we'll go ahead and add four high stone walls. We'll come around to the side here and we're gonna start off by first placing a thatch wall on each of these foundations. Now these are only temporary, we're gonna replace them later. Go ahead then and add two high greenhouse walls on each of those. And go ahead and add one stone wall on top of each of those. Now we will head to the back corner of the build and first we'll place four high stone walls right here. We will add our one thatch wall on top of each of these foundations, followed by our two greenhouse walls, and then followed by our one more stone wall. Now again, go ahead to the other side of the build and repeat this step over there. All right, so now we're finally gonna make use of those thatch ceilings we placed at the beginning. So we're gonna go ahead in here and get out a stone door frame. And we're going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system. Until you get this light blue one, go ahead and place that. Go ahead and add two more on top, being very careful to make sure you get that light blue snap point and do not destroy your greenhouse. Go ahead and do that in the next three spots. And now once you have all of those door frames placed, you can go ahead and get out a stone wall and just replace that thatch wall that we placed earlier. Now we're gonna go ahead to the back corner of the build and we're just gonna do the same thing on these two spots right here. And now once you have all of this done, you can go ahead and pick up or destroy those thatch ceilings that we placed and go ahead and repeat this step on the other side of the build. Next thing we're gonna do is head in here above where we have this stone wall and place a thatch ceiling. We'll go ahead and do that along this side as well. Then we will go ahead and get out an adobe wall and we will rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system and place it down with the light blue side facing us. Go ahead and do that on these other three ones right here, as well as on this one right here. Then we're gonna head to the back corner of our build and again place two thatch ceilings right here and one on this back side. And go ahead and again get out your adobe wall and rotate the snap point and place one on each of these spots. You can then go ahead and pick up or destroy these thatch ceilings and repeat this step on the other side of the build. Now we're gonna head in here to this corner right above our adobe wall and we're going to place a thatch ceiling on the inside. We will then get out the appropriate sloped adobe wall and place it so the green side is facing us and it's pointing inward, like so. Go ahead then pick up your thatch ceiling and you can now fill in this area with sloped wooden roofs. Now we will head to the back corner of the build and again place a thatch ceiling on the inside of these walls and place the other sloped adobe wall right here again like this. Go ahead again, pick up this thatch ceiling and fill this in with sloped wooden roofs. So now go ahead to the other side of the build and repeat this step on the other side. All right guys, so that is gonna do it for the building portion of this video. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply a quick paint scheme to make this feel a little bit more medieval and do a little bit of decor on the inside of the build to make it feel more like a church. So if you guys wanna see all of that, stick around for one more second and I will show you what I come up with. All right guys, so like I said, I have gone ahead and applied our paint scheme and done a little bit of decorating. So first things first for the paint scheme, I have painted all of the adobe with the tan color for the base and then I have painted all of the stripes and whatnot on it with the mud color to kind of really give us that medieval feel. 
I've also painted all of our pillars, railings, catwalks, and the other kind of wood stuff with the mud color as well. With the exception of our roofs, I have painted our roofs with the regular brown color. So kind of give you a look around at the back as well. As far as decorations go, I've just added some torches around the outside at our entrances. And then I've also added some Mimas here at the front. As we head into the inside of the build, you can see we have a bunch of people here in our congregation and we have the, uh, I guess the pastor or whatnot up there um, speaking here at the church of the Mimas. Up at the podium, we always, I put a little bit of a walkway up here. So basically just some ceilings and walls around this area with some stairs to get up there. And just done a few things here, just kind of making a podium here. And then just some stuff there on the back, just to kind of frame the area a little bit more. At each entrance, I've just added some storage bins, basically acting as like coat racks or something. Some more flags at the back. And then obviously some lines of benches here for our seating area, where all of our people would sit. And then also I have added some tables on the sides with artifacts on them, just to kind of give it a little bit of like a churchy feel. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the build. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it was easy for you to follow along and get this build on your arc. Guys, if you did enjoy the build in the video and you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that like button. Leave me some feedback in the comments below on what you think of some of the changes and additions you saw in this video. And if this is your first video, go check out some other builds. And if you like what you see, subscribe for future arc. Let's build videos. Also, make sure you check out the description below for a link to my Twitter and Discord where you can stay up to date with me and come hang out with me and all of my friends. But anyways, guys, with all of that said, I want to tell you thank you so much for being here today, checking out this video, and have a great day.